I'm Magdalena, I'm 16, I'm from St Mary's College in Auckland and I'm here looking at a career in telecommunications. Maggie is headed to Vodafone's shiny headquarters in Auckland to learn about working in a leading edge telecommunications company. G'day, I'm Andy. Hi, I'm Maggie. Hey Maggie. Vodafone sales trainer Andy Hamilton is on hand to introduce Maggie to their state of the art building. So welcome to Vodafone, Maggie. This is the home of helping Kiwis do their thing better. I think you agree it's pretty impressive. Yeah, definitely. All right, well, let's carry on having a look around and see what you think. In this spacious, airy building, many staff have no permanent desk. The idea is to foster an energetic working environment with creative, productive thought. So can you tell me more about how you work? Yeah, so as you can see, we, we've got a really open plan. Uh, we've got three different types of workers at Vodafone. We've got homers, zoners and roamers. Homers have fixed desks. Zoners pick an area to work in a particular zone and roamers can choose to work anywhere. So if you don't have a desk, how do you make calls? Well, that's the beauty about being in mobile telecommunications. That's the office phone. If you uh, choose a career in telecommunications, there's a pretty broad range of jobs. Uh, there's the kinds of jobs that are common in any large business, so finance, accountants, human resources, um, but the core of our business is really around sales, marketing, customer service and technology. Uh, and, and the whole of our business is built upon the network uh, that enables people to communicate. The network links many hundreds of radio masts known as base stations all around New Zealand. It seeks out where your mobile phone is located and then it connects you to the net or other phones. Hello Catherine speaking. New base stations are being built all the time and Maggie's first job is to find where might be the best site for a new tower. Um, we're going to run through with you one of our advanced engineering um, tools. So for the um, cell site design exercise we use a sophisticated um, software tool and that what that does is helps us um, design a cell site um, that fits the New Zealand environment. You know we have a lot of hills, a lot of water and in this rural setting um, we are able to optimise the placements of sites so we can maximise our coverage. This is a new rural cell site. By moving the location of the site, the software works out the expected mobile coverage. And if I move this to the top of the hill, does that mean I'll get better coverage? Yeah, we'll be able to um, get better visibility um, to where the people live. The software calculates and the new coverage area is revealed. OK, so that, as you can see, it's much improved coverage. You know, All large um, cell sites have equipment rooms beneath the tower and Maggie gets a look at one. So, Amy, where are we? Well, we're inside the equipment shelter of a typical urban cell site. And this is the base station equipment. Here we have here a mixture of both our 2G, 3G and 4G uh, technologies. And over here, we can see the antenna lines, the feeders, that go up to the top of the roof where our antennas are. We should go take a look. And this is a, a fantastically exciting industry. Um, everybody's mobile phone is turning into a computer. Uh, it's enabling people to do all sorts of different things. Uh, uh, we have a new 4G technology in mobiles. We have fibre coming uh, uh, in, in fixed world. And this is just opening up a world of possibility for customers. Uh, and at the heart of that is, is technology and engineers. Phones and tablets new to the market all have to be monitored. Before new apps are released, they are tested to check how well they will work. Vodafone's head of IT, Nisha Clark, shows Maggie some new devices. So what we want to do now is we want you to check that, first of all, our mobile website is working and that you can access all the different links that are on the website. So the links are your things like your phones and plans and internet, the apps and services, entertainment. So I need you to go through them all and see that each one is working as we would hope it would work. OK, so this, so this is something that we look for in IT when something's not working, so we would report that as a defect. New apprentices to Vodafone sign up for a two-year training programme. So the apprentice will move between IT, information technology, uh, and the network side of the business uh, and build up some skills and experiences. At the same time, we'll be supporting them uh, with their vocational qualifications, so the NZQA uh, uh, level awards, working with um, the ITO skills. The skills organisation will support the trainees achieve this qualification in a specified time frame. The qualification is achieved by combination of off-job and on-job training. 
to complete your practical unit standards from the book. It's got a list of unit standards that you need to complete. Once your assessor is happy with the evidence, he will sign you off there. All new staff, called starters, attend a five-day induction course. Today, Maggie's joining Mission Vodafone, a team game that introduces starters to the company. So Mission Vodafone is part of our five-day induction program for our new starters. Hi, we're here for Mission Vodafone. Have you got anything? It sees our new starters uh, learning about Vodafone, about our values, our culture, and about customer obsession. OK, Maggie, you have a look at our first clue. It's a fun, interactive way for our new starters to get accustomed to what we do here at Vodafone, to accustom themselves with the building as well. OK. It's a V code. We need to put it in. We'll be using smart tablets, scanning QR codes and V codes to find answers to the clues around the building. Uh, this place, it, it's fast paced. Uh, there's things changing all the time. Uh, there's probably very few other industries uh, around the world that I would like to be in at, at this point in time. Uh, and, and even those exciting industries want to be in ours. So Google and Apple are trying to be Vodafone and, and telcos all over the world. So where, where else would you rather be? Um, so Maggie's done a terrific job um, at the Southside exercise. You know, she's a fast learner, um, excellent communicator, and those are the kind of um, key attributes that we're looking for here at Vodafone. So I think she's got an exciting future ahead. It's been heaps of fun, and I've learned more about what telecommunications involves here at Vodafone. I've enjoyed working with the people. They're all really nice, and I think it would be an awesome place to work. The skills organisation offer two qualifications in telecommunications. The National Certificate in Telecommunications Level 3 and you can go on to study for a National Certificate in Telecommunications Level 4. Apprentices learn off the job with the training provider as well as on the job with their employer. An aptitude for electronics, engineering and working with computers is an advantage. A flexible attitude and an ability to solve problems are important. Career prospects are excellent and there's no limit to what can be achieved. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.